Let's use what we saw in the iterative division algorithm video to convert from decimal base 10 to hexadecimal base 16. So to start, let's, let's convert decimal 1254 to hex. Uh, using the iterative division algorithm, first thing we're going to do is we're going to set a equal to 1254 and we're going to set b equal to 16 and the reason why we do this is we want to convert to base 16. so when we're using this algorithm we're always going to set our b to the base that we want to convert to since we want to convert to base 16. Okay, great. So then we're going to take these and divide them. 1254 divided by 16, and that gives us 78.375. So then we set Q equal to the integer part of 78.375. That's just 78. And then we set the remainder to A minus BQ which is 1254 minus 16 times 78. This is 1254 minus 1248, so our remainder is 6. Okay, great. Now, at this point, we ask ourselves, is Q equal to 0? Uh, our Q is 78, so the answer is no. So then what we do is we're going to set a equal to Q, and so A is now 78, and we'll repeat the iterative algorithm. So great, we're going to do this division again, but now A is 78. So 78 divided by 16 is going to give us 4.875. So we set Q equal to the integer part of 4.875. That's just 4. And then we'll set R to A minus BQ, and that will be 78 minus 16 times 4, or 78 minus 64, which is 14. Okay, now we ask ourselves again, is Q equal to 0? Our Q is 4, so the answer is no, so we'll set a equal to Q equal to 4, and we'll repeat. Great, so now A is 4, we take 4 divided by 16, and we get 0 0.25, so we'll set Q equal to the integer part of 0 0.25, so that's equal to 0, We'll set R equal to A minus BQ, which is 4 minus 16 times 0, or 4 minus 0 is equal to 4. And now we ask, is Q equal to 0? Q is indeed equal to 0, so the answer is yes. That means we stop our iterative algorithm. Now at this point, to get the result of the conversion, we want to collect all the remainders from bottom to top. Collect the remainders from bottom to top. Okay, so my first remainder, starting from the bottom, is 4 then 14, then 6. So my remainders, 4, 14, and 6. But now, something that's kind of different about hexadecimal is, um, remember the fundamental numerals that make up the hexadecimal number system are, the numerals in hex are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
A, B, C, D, E, F. So this is a base 16 number system. We have more numerals than the decimal number system that we're used to. So that means that this is kind of like this is decimal 10 is A in hex, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So if we get a remainder of 14, this 14 in hex is actually E. So we're going to replace this 14 here with an E. Therefore, our conversion is 1254 in decimal is equal to 4E6 in hex.